Just a couple days back, Anthropic went ahead and launched Cloud 3.7 Sonnet and also a AI coding tool called as Cloud Code. And back then it was operating at full capacity and they temporarily disabled registrations for the same. But seems like it's back and now we can go ahead and download and start using Cloud Code. And today in this video, I'm going to give you a complete walkthrough as to how to set up, install and start using Cloud Code on your computer. And now without wasting further ado, let's jump straight in. All right, so this right here is the official documentation page of Cloud Code. And the first thing that you gotta do is to click the first link in the description below to land out this particular page right here. And as you can see, it says Cloud Code, an agentic coding tool made by Anthropic currently in beta as a research preview. Now, before jumping in and trying to install the same, you must make sure Cloud Code is actually supported in your machine. So if you scroll down, you'll be able to find the system requirements in here. So as far as operating system is concerned, you can install it on macOS 10.15 plus Ubuntu Debian 10 or Windows via WSL and you will need a minimum of 4 GB RAM to run the same. And as far as software is concerned, you will need Node.js 18 plus to be able to use Cloud Code. So these are the absolute must have to be able to use Cloud Code and GitHub and all that is uh, optional. So if you have all these three things checked, you can go ahead and start using it. And to access the same and to install install it on a computer all you gotta do is to scroll down you can just go ahead and copy this particular command and paste it in your terminal and run it to install cloud code and now i've already done that and the next thing that you're gonna do is to cd into your project directory and you can run the cloud command to launch cloud code and then it will ask you or take you to a authorization flow where you'll need to authorize your let's say anthropic console account to be able to use your api and then you can start coding the same and one more thing that you need to keep in mind is that in order to use cloud code you will need cloud api okay and for that you will have to create a new account in console.anthropic.com and after that you will have to go ahead and enter your card details and buy some credits and now i have around 6.47 dollars in credit so that is what i'm going to use so even before you try to use cloud code make sure you go ahead and sign up for a console account add your credit card information, top up some credits and you should be pretty much good to go. So here I have opened up VS code and I'll go ahead and open a folder in here. Okay. And now that I've already added Cloud code, the next thing that I've got to do to install the same. Okay. Maybe before that, I will actually go ahead and initialize a Next.js project and then we can go ahead and install and work on, let's say Cloud code. So I'll go ahead and say npx create next app at the rate latest dot slash and hit enter so first up let's just go ahead and create, uh, initialize a simple next.js project with the defaults next.js is now installed so i'll head back to cloud and now to start cloud code all you gotta do is to run this cloud command so i'll head back open a new okay i can go ahead and run simply cloud and hit enter and it should now load cloud code as you can see here we have cloud code if you want to you can actually run cloud code within the integrated terminal within let's say your core director like vs code or cursor or if you want to you can also go ahead and open it up in a standard terminal window as well but for now i'll prefer using it from this one right here so i'll be able to view the code and do all that necessary changes as well and now at first okay it says welcome to cloud code research preview and first it is asking us to select a text style so we have light text dark text light text colorblind friendly okay so these are all the options that you have for now i'll keep it as let's say light text and hit enter and now it is asking us to connect to our api using anthropic console account and all you gotta do is to press enter and before this step make sure you have already created a anthropic console account and you also have some credits left in your account and now all you gotta do is to click on this authorize button and that should be pretty much it and okay so it's done and now if you head over to let's say uh, the terminal you will see that login is now successful and press enter to continue so i'm pressing enter so there you have it okay so cloud code is currently in research preview this beta version may have limitations or unexpected behaviors okay cloud can make mistakes got it due to prompt injection risk only use it with code you trust all right and now to continue further just press enter okay start in your project directory files are automatically added use cloud code as a development partner provide clear context be as specific got it press enter okay do you trust the files in this folder yes enable automatic updates create a new okay. cloud code can't update itself because it doesn't have permissions do you want to fix this to get automatic updates select an option to fix okay i'll skip it for now okay so this right here is the interface of cloud code and i know what you're thinking it is not that user friendly or as intuitive to use let's say as cursor windsurf or any other ai coordinating platforms like data button tembo labs or maybe let's say lovable or bolt.new 
so it almost feels like you are in the 2000s and you're using neowim to write code so pretty much everything happens within this terminal instance so you will have to go ahead and give the prompts in this particular input box right here and the cloud will reply the same in here as well so that is one thing that i've noticed about cloud code it is not that beginner friendly to be honest and so if a person with no coding background or experience starts to or try to use cloud code it can be a little overwhelming for them and to quickly get started all you gotta do is to input the command or whatever stuff that you want to build using the ai in this input box right here and press enter and now the AI will start working on it and again if you want to you can also go ahead and create a new file called as cloud.md and place it in the root of the uh, directory with all the instructions that the AI should keep in mind when writing the code. So it is pretty similar to that of let's say cursor rules. So if you are familiar with cursor, you know that you can create cursor rules file. So every time the AI writes a piece of code, it will have all the instructions from the cursor rules file. So similar is the case with this cloud.md file. And if you want to give additional context or instructions to the AI, you can go ahead and create one and put it in the root of the folder. And now the entire purpose of this video is to walk you through the entire process of creating a new project, setting up cloud code and using it not exactly about the app that we are trying to build. To simply get started, I'll go ahead and say, I want to create a landing page for my web development agency. So I'll go ahead and say, create a landing page for my web development agency named Astro Tech. I have already installed Next.js. You can take it up from there make sure to include some nice animations and modern design elements okay so this is the initial prompt that i'll give and now i can go ahead and hit enter and now the ai will take care of the rest so it says herding and you can also see how much time it takes for each of the task in here and if you want to interrupt you can press escape to interrupt the process and now the ai is going through all the existing files within our project so it is reading the page.dsx file layout.dsx file then we have global.css file okay and now it is asking us to install framer motion and react icon packages and it is asking do you want to proceed so i'll go ahead and say yes so it says brewing okay so those packages are now installed so if i head over to let's say package.json i should find frame motion and react icons and there we have it and now it says do you want to make this edit to the layout.tsx file okay i'll go ahead and say yes and don't ask this again in this session so the ai is now making some changes to all these files and you can also see how much time it takes and also we started with around 6.47 dollars and if i refresh or maybe by the time the video ends, I'll also make sure to refresh and show you the remaining balance so you can get a sense of how much money Claude code uses. And now heading back, it says, do you want to proceed? Create a new directory. Of course, yes. And if I open the SRC folder, I should now find a new folder called as components. And here we have it. All right, got it. So all this code highlighted in the green is all the code that the AI has added. And everything highlighted in red is what the AI has replaced or deleted. And another thing that I've noticed is that when Claude is actually writing all these code, you will find all these statuses or let's say something like baking, pondering, brewing, cooking and all that. So that is something interesting. So it has been almost 70 seconds now and it is still updating files, creating new files and doing all that kind of stuff. And if I open the components folder, I can see I here have a hero uh, component, now bar component, services component, and it has created a new about component. And if I click on, let's say hero, I should be able to find the code for the same okay great now let's just wait for it to complete and we'll take it up from there all right so seems like claude is done writing the code and it has created a couple of these components including about.tsx contact footer hero navbar project services and testimonials and it has included all that in the page.tsx file is what i guess oh yes here we have it and now pretty much the coding part is done and it is asking if you want me to start the uh, development server npm run dev so i can go ahead and click on yes and now it should start the development server and I should be able to see a preview of the app it has generated. Okay, or maybe we can go ahead and start the development server ourselves. So I can go ahead and run npm run dev hit enter. Okay, so localhost address. I'll go ahead and paste it in here, hit enter and let's see. Hopefully everything works and we get to see something. Okay, we have something in here. Okay, wow. You see that? This is actually really great. Not exactly the color combination or that, 
but if you notice you can see that this particular box right here or the content similar to let's say a browser window it has that subtle floating effect and it to be honest it looks great you see that nice breathing kind of floating effect wow we have a gradient background in here we have a hero section this thing is actually super dope and now i can tell with confidence that if you are into front-end development and if you want to generate really cool nice ui with cool animations and all sorts of stuff like that Cloud is the way to go. So you don't necessarily have to use Cloud code for that. You can just use Cloud 3.7 Sonnet model and you should be pretty much good to go. And let me scroll down. And here we have uh, our services card section. And here we again have that nice lifting kind of animation. And when I hover over these cards, I can find a gradient accent border to the bottom. Great. And as I further scroll down, here we have we build exceptional digital experiences, all the services that we offer. Here we also have this nice animation or graphic kind of stuff okay cool as i further scroll down here we have our projects okay nice animation effects hover effects cards lifting animation filter option cool okay then here we have our testimonial section what our clients say we have star ratings a carousel more like a slider that moves on its own great and here we also have a contact form contact information a photo section wow this is actually super dope especially this one right here i really like that subtle animation and that floating effect and i pretty much like all of that okay and now how much did it cost to develop this particular landing page using cloud 3.7 sonnet within cloud code that is what we want to find so initially when we started the video i had around 6.47 dollars is what i guess and now i'll go ahead and refresh and let's see and now we are down to 5.80 so we had to spend like what 6.7 dollars 0.67 dollars to get this you know whole uh, landing page going on so the ai has created the entire landing pages created all these animations cards all that and it costed us 0.67 dollars okay and now next up let's just say we want to create our api within our next js app okay let's say i'm creating some kind of application and I need some you know dummy data so that I can test the API or let's say front end of my app so I need the API right so let's just go ahead and try to create that API using cloud code so I'll go ahead and say create a API in my next JS project that I could use to get some dummy data about 10 people including their name address age phone number email and a bunch of okay, bunch of other details i only want to create the api for testing purpose mm, okay so that's the prompt that i will give so i don't want to create any front end component or anything as such i want to create a plain simple api so calling that api will give me a list of you know dummy data for all these people including their name address age phone number and all that and i can hit enter and let's see okay and by the way it took me around 200 to around 250 kind of seconds to create the actual landing page uh okay so in which case let's wait for it to create this api endpoint and it now says it is creating a new folder called as api slash people slash route.ts of course yes and now Cloud will go ahead and create the API endpoint. And if we go to, let's say, localhost 3000 slash API slash people, we should be able to get dummy data, including the names and all that kind of stuff. So let's wait for it to complete calling the same. So Cloud is telling cannot create new file. The file already exists. I don't know why it keeps throwing that error because Cloud itself created the file in the first place. So I'll go ahead and say the file uh, slash API slash people slash route dot ts already oops already exist please add the code inside the file and i can hit enter and let's see or maybe i'll go ahead and delete this folder first and now i can hit enter <clears throat> and that should create the folder again and hopefully it works okay seems like the ai is done writing the code and we have our api endpoint is what i guess uh nested directories for specified path okay 
I don't want okay, maybe let's say yes or maybe it's creating a lot more API endpoints but I only want one so here we have people to dot ts okay it should give me let's say hmm, all the details of this demo data for now let me just go ahead and test it out so I can go to let's say slash API slash people and if I hit enter it gives me details of 10 people so here we have the id name age email phone address occupation company avatar bio skills education social media okay so the ai has successfully created this api and here we also have yet another one with this id so if you want to specifically get data for let's say id 3 robert johnson i can put let's say slash 3 hit enter and it should return details about robert johnson all right so how much did it cost me to create this API endpoint for this dummy data? So initially we started with 5.80 and let me refresh. And now we are down to 5.10. All right. So it costed us around 70 cents to get this API part going on. And we started with $6.47 and now we are down to 5.10. It costed us around, I guess, what? um one and a half dollars just as to create a landing page and the api i know the whole intention of this video was to walk you through the entire process of setting up cloud code and using it to create or let's say help you with your application development process and now the thing about cloud code or one thing that i found about cloud code is that it is not that beginner friendly or as intuitive to use obviously you don't really have to type any code or anything but for the first time when a person with no coding background sees this kind of like you know terminal instance and all this code and you know without uh, working without a gui it can f be a little overwhelming for people but other than that pretty much everything is okay and you even if you don't have any coding knowledge you can still continue using the same we have a plain input box in here it's just that if it had let's say a nice gui it would have been better and you know people would actually find it even better or easy to use so that's my two cents on this cloud code ui part and now it is a CLI tool so you can actually use it within terminal and now for this video I actually ran cloud within this integrated terminal within let's say VS code but if you want you can actually go ahead and open let's say a normal terminal instance and run cloud as well for example if I just go ahead and uh, cd into the okay let's say desktop cd into our folder oops cloud code and now if I go ahead and run the cloud command and hit enter, uh, uh, skip, I should be able to access cloud code within, let's say my original terminal instance as well. Okay. So you can actually use it in a standalone terminal, or if you want, you can also use it with integrated terminal. So yeah, the whole intention of this video was to just, just to show you how you can start using cloud code, how, what is the steps and all that. And to use cloud code, you will need a uh, API in Anthropic. So all you got to do is to first head over to console.anthropic.com, sign up for a new account. And after that, you can come over to this billing session right here and you will have to add your credit card information in here and then purchase some credits. So now my uh, existing credit expired. So I just went ahead. I mean, I fully used up that. So I went ahead and added $5 in here and now after adding the credit now you can head over to this page right here and go to let's say what was it uh okay run this particular prompt cd into your project directory run the cloud command and first time when you launch it it will ask you to authorize and head over to anthropic console and authorize your account and once you log in you should be pretty much good to go and you can start building the application give prompts and take it up from there so that's pretty much all i wanted to show you in this video i hope you guys found this video useful if yes make sure to subscribe and i'll see you in the next one